for each of the nominees for Best Production Design, it was a dream and journey that wasn't always clear. Growing up, Kathy Lucas loved movies, but couldn't quite figure out where she fit into making them. As a young architecture student, Nathan Crowley had no idea he could ever be a part of the film industry, but tonight, they are both nominated for Tenet. Donald Graham Burt spent the early part of his career sweeping floors as an on-set janitor. Jan Pascal was a puppet master on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. We recognize their incredible work tonight on Mank. And as fate would have it, Jan Pascal would later hire Mark Riker as an intern, which put him on the road to making Ma Rainey's Black Bottom alongside brilliant set decorators Diana Stoughton and Karen O'Hara. Now, I wonder, Mark, uh, were you thinking about anything when you were getting Jan's coffee? I mean, like, did you see that coming? <laughs> Just a thought. Peter Francis trained for many years as a landscape architect. Kathy Featherstone couldn't stop thinking about how to construct one-eyed Willie's ship after watching the Goonies as a kid. So she started building sets and designing costumes for school plays just before she teamed up with Peter on The Father. And finally, David Crank landed in motion picture design after working in theater for 10 years. Elizabeth Keenan worked in advertising for 15 years before hopping on a plane to the Czech Republic to secure her first set decorating job. They are both nominated tonight for News of the World. And the Oscar goes to Mank. Donald Graham Burt, production design, and Jan Pascal, set decoration. It's a long way down here. <laughs> um, first of all, thank you to David Fincher, Sion Chafin, and Don Burt for trusting me with this amazing project. I, I'm just, it was such an honor to work with such an amazing group of people. Thank you to my crew who worked their tails off on this just to make it right. And you know, um, when I was young, I never realized that this was a career that was even a possibility. There were so many people that helped me along the way and guided me, and I'm so grateful to all of them, and especially to my wife, Louise, who inspires me every day. Thank you so much.